From dawn till dusk, Ford trucks are with you every mile of the way. And we'd like to say thank you, Farm Bureau, for your partnership and support to help make Ford F-Series the best-selling pickup in America once again. Where are we in agriculture in Michigan right now is kind of one of those things where we're at a precipice, you could say. Kind of one of those situations where, you know, what do we see happen over the next few years? We've got an increase in input costs. We know we're going to have an increase in borrowing costs. You know, all of these things are kind of taking place from a farmer standpoint and agriculture standpoint. You know, and what does that mean? Currently, we have higher prices than what we would typically see. So there's a little bit of ease, you know, a little bit of breathing easier, you could say, because you feel like you can book margin with where the prices are, even with that increase in, in inputs. But obviously, the biggest worry is what happens over the next 6, 12, 18 months, and where do we go? But I'd say agriculture industry in Michigan as a whole, like we're really kind of cementing ourselves in as a national big time producer. We're very fortunate in Michigan having had that Ithaca plant open that's completely changed the dynamic of the, the market. You know, I can't imagine trying to move the bushels of beans that we used to move into Claypool, Indiana, simply because of that loss in logistical capabilities and the cost, the significant increase. And so to have the Ithaca plant come online and, and you know, be taking the majority of our beans that are sitting in the bin right now, you know, not only is that really increased basis levels to values that we haven't seen traditionally for farmers off the farm in the summer, you know, it's also just kind of provided us with the secondary form of demand. So in, in Michigan, you know, with soybeans, we're really just kind of watching that continuation of strong demand. The Ithaca plant looks as though it'll, it'll remain a strong contender. Because of that, the bulk of our bushels, you know, are now staying in the state. They're working towards Gratiot County versus going into Indiana or, or into Ontario. And so we just need to be able to confirm that we get a decent crop again there. And here in Michigan, like I said, we're a little bit more isolated uh, with soybeans just simply because of that big demand sector that we have sitting in the center of the state.